All right. Now, as a salesperson, what are the things you've achieved? You've identified the personality style of the individual, the, say, the customer. The next thing that you've done is made sure that you've identified the needs of the customers. What you've done after that is to talk about the benefits that the customer is going to receive, which comes to the last part, which has got to do with actually closing the deal. What does closing the deal mean? Getting the commitment of the customers. Probably the most difficult part a salesperson has to face. What separates the good salespeople from the average salespeople is the way you go about closing the deal. Average salespeople take forever to close the deal, going around in loops. Whereas good salespeople, on the other hand, have a technique which we refer to as the summary of benefits close. What does this mean? Once you have done, gone through the presentation and answered all the questions that a customer has, you go back and remind the customer what were the needs that the customer had articulated, link them to the different benefits that you have promised to the customers, so that now the customer is aware of the benefits of your offering, and then you then ask the customer if the customer is ready to make a commitment. Now, it is at this point in time where either the customer might say, yes, they're willing to make the commitment, or they might raise additional questions or what we refer to as objections. Now, when the customer does raise an objection, make sure that you acknowledge the objection and then use a technique that has been used in the past, which is what we refer to as the feel, felt, found method. I understand how you feel, other people have felt the same way and once they have tried our product, this is what they have found out. The purpose of this is to make the customer feel they are not alone. Other people have also been in the same situation as the customer. It is at this point in time that if you have a reference list, a list of all other customers with whom you have done business with in the past, and you can give this to the customer so that the customer can rest assured that they are in good, capable hands. And if the customer does not want to make the decision right then, make sure that you set another date so that the customer is aware that you are serious about pursuing this.